soldiers of the Soviet 8th Guards Army stand in silence as they observe the rays of the morning sun glisten on the icy waters of the Oder River. Among them... First question I already have. If when, you, when you're a Russian soldier, right, and you went through hell, you were in Stalingrad, and you went through hell, and you literally took Berlin, when you came back after the war as a Russian veteran, would you get any benefits? Do you guys know? I mean, how would you guys know that? They got extra vodka, and he wrote World two Russian veterans in the chat. Because I feel like they didn't get shit. Didn't they steal shit? Well, that's just Russian culture, right? Probably a bunch of washing machines and stuff. Makes you wonder, though. Is the war correspondent Vasily Grossman. Vasily has covered the war since the Battle of Moscow. And like his comrades in arms, he has counted every river he has crossed since the advance westward from the Volga at... Such people are so poor, man. People that write down their experience, especially back in the day. Nowadays, you have phones and satellites and everything, right? But back in the day, man... They got the ultimate grandpa story. Stalingrad. <laughs> nice. Now, after a hellish trek of over three years, he stands at the bank of the final river. That must feel like, man. You're in a literal war for survival, man. They want to destroy your country and your, everything you are. And after all, you stand in front of their final capital, man. It's like the Ukraine is standing in front of Moscow, man. Also, uh, I'm copying other streamers. I'm copying other streamers. Every 20 gifted subs, when someone gifts 20, you will get... A, Hold your hold 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 yourself somewhere. What what I'm about to say is fucking ridiculous. Every twenty gifted gets a personal Christmas card from me. Wow, wow. Tommy K really is becoming desperate. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, man. Holy Before shit. Berlin, Holy caught shit. by the emotion of the moment, he writes. Thank you for more information. Спят вечным сном на поле брани. Товарищи, слышите вы нас? So many fucking Мы people дошли. died in that Eastern Front, man. Jesus. Bloody is of all times, right? Hi, I think I'm so. Griffin Johnson, the armchair historian. Griffin is so sexy, man. His hands are way too big, though. Look at these hands. Dude, that guy can choke you with his little finger, man. Look at that. By hmm. early like 1945, him. Hitler's Third Reich was on its last legs. While the Allies prepared to make a dash across the Rhine, in the East, the Red Army was advancing toward the German Christmas border hey, it's at, least from at a lightning famous person, speed. Right? As its armies closed in on Berlin, its men vowed to take revenge for the death and destruction oh, the they Germans must have been had very, brought very upon mad, the dude. motherland. Lot of, Hitler, uh, German however, women got raped. would not go down without a fight. And forced his Still nowadays, man, in my own family history, man, there's a lot of uh, people that are Russian descendants because of rape and stuff back in the day. Uh, but they didn't talk about this stuff. They keep that very hidden, man. ...defeated people into one more cataclysmic bloodletting that would not end until the hammer and sickle finally flew above the 26 Reichstag million Soviets and died. Is that lay unbelievable, dead in man? 100,000 people died in Ukraine so far on Russian side, right? 26 million. Is that an unimaginable number, man? Unimaginable, man. Round the fucking pain that must cause to general. I mean, look at Russia. It's such a failed state nowadays, right? Full of alcoholism. And it even kind of makes sense, man, if, if you go for something like this, man. Do you consider yourself famous or celebrity? Listen, listen, Sinas Nielsen. I am the 86,000 most famous person on this planet. Why? I googled myself today and there was this website. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you found it. Dude, dude, dude Bjorn knows everything. Bjorn finds everything. I'm the 24th most famous April 4th YouTube star. <laughs> 1944 had been nothing short of a disaster for the Germans on the Eastern Front. After the annihilation of Army Group Center, the seemingly unstoppable... That's where I, like, most of my grandpa's died. Uh, there's a video where I read the letters, I think. I think there's a video where I read the letter of my grandpa. They kind of all died here. The army had chased the Wehrmacht to the gates... And you ask a lot of Germans uh, about their family history when their grand granddads died, it's mostly here. ...of Warsaw. In the south, Romania and Bulgaria had capitulated and changed sides. While Hungary verged on... That's good roleplay, though. A lot of roleplay players need to learn that. ...laps as Soviet armies laid siege to Budapest. Unwilling to admit defeat, Hitler now made the momentous decision... How many people died because of Hitler's uh, bullshit, right? If he would just have fucking called it there, he could have saved millions of lives. Uh, and I just recently saw the movie Downfall, which is a movie everybody should watch, and it's fucking crazy, man. How these psychopathic uh, dictators... Put so many people into death. We see it nowadays with Vladimir Putin, man, who just wants his little power fantasy over Ukraine to work and thousands of people die. Millions of people are affected just because of one guy going insane, dude. ...to deploy his final... And I think the human race should find a way to, to stop psychopaths getting in these positions of power. ...armored reserves to relieve the city's defenders and secure... Hung Sorry, what? Why is there a peace sign and an S... I don't know, get that. There's probably some lore behind that. But 
Why is there pizza next to ESS sign? Henry's oil fields. This, as it turned out, was exactly what the Soviet High Command, better known as the Stavka, had hoped for. By increasing pressure on the Hungarian front, Stalin and his advisors aimed you, to uh, lure the Fuhrer into Thank moving you. his vital armored reserves away from Poland, while regiment. three Soviet fronts, totaling some 2.5 million men, That's would a make a dash news. across the Vistula River around Warsaw and drive straight toward Berlin. That's, that's, I know for a fact that this, we just saw my great grandpa die. He was in a village here and he got a grenade hit. That's to mentally prepare me. their men for the coming struggle, political commissars handed out instructions that echoed the overwhelming the sentiment the felt among the embittered Soviet soldiers. The soldiers. They must have been very embittered, man. And you know what? I even as a German, even I said, I kind of get that, man. The Germans came to eradicate your fucking race, man. Your Slavic race. They wanted to take everything you have. I kind of get that you are very mad at that. I kind of get that, man. Whose rage in battle must be terrible. He doesn't. And you know, sometimes in Germany, when you have like uh, pro Nazi people in Germany, like, well, the Russians were nice. They raped our women and stuff. Yeah, well. What did we do to them, bro? You know, what the fuck? It's a fucking war. Jesus, we tried to eradicate them. Jeez. Not merely seek to fight. He must also be the embodiment of the court of his people's justice. Fueled by a desire for revenge, Stalin's armies began breaking out of their bridgeheads on January. And that's the problem when you go to an aggressive war and you're kind of an asshole, man. You gotta, you gotta realize if you start losing, oh, they're gonna fuck you over, man. Imagine in a, in a fictional world, Ukraine, Ukrainian army will go into Russia, right? Bro, oh, they will. Even though I think they will. I think they will know that nowadays with media and stuff, you have to behave. Because otherwise, you're, you, you get a lot of disapproval in the Western stuff. I think nowadays, these soldiers know. The Ukrainian, at least. The Russians, <laughs> no. But I think the Ukrainian soldiers get briefed on behave, don't do bad shit. Because otherwise, we lose support in the Western stuff. Uh, I think so. I think they wouldn't do Within that stuff. days, the outgunned defenders were forced into a Depends what you go through though, right? Frenzied retreat. On the 15th, General <clears throat> Heinz Guderian pleaded with Hitler to send every available unit east. The Fuhrer, in turn, made great promises in the form of two SS Panzer Corps recently withdrawn from the Ardennes. However, rather than arriving to salvage the situation in Poland, they were thrown into yet another one of Hitler's armored pipe dreams in Hungary, lacking sufficient mobile reserves. And once again, really, this, this I, I think it's always so interesting how we have a lot of um, parallels here to Vladimir Putin, man. You have a politician that is not a military expert, and he does a lot of mistakes, man, uh, where he should just listen to his generals. Hitler, if Hitler would have listened to generals more, right? The bulk of but the ill-fated German dictators. defenders were encircled retired. and destroyed. As the catastrophe unfolded, the Berlin radio broadcasted apocalyptic news bulletins which compared the advancing Red Army to the Mongol hordes, the Huns, and the Tartars, who were out to bring total destruction and the end of civilization. Driven by fear, a growing mass of German refugees began a long, deadly march across the icy... Hitler did listen to his generals and his common myth. I mean, one proof I have real quick is the uh, surrounding of Dunkirk, right? Where he told them to stand down. But then actually the generals didn't listen to him. Actually, they didn't listen to him. Okay, chat is going uh, special mode. leading westward okay. in okay. hopes of eluding the jaws of Soviet vengeance. The dreaded Red Horde, however, and was moving was at That's lightning where my speed, story and by begins, the end man. of January, its armies had advanced some 500 kilometers, or nearly 311 zones. miles, to the banks of the Oder River, just 60 kilometers, or 37 miles, from Berlin. However, the rapid advance had stretched the Red Army's logistics to their limit, and heavy resistance in East Prussia had left Marshal Georgi Zhukov's flank dangerously exposed to counterattack from German troops massing in Pomerania, the final assault on Berlin until the flanks were secured. By mid-April, the Red Army had reached the oder Neisse river line on a... Dunkirk failed because Göring wanted to destroy them with the Air Force, but the weather was too bad. I heard a different story. Um, Hitler ordered Manstein to stand down in Dunkirk because Hitler was trying to negotiate a peace deal uh, with the hostages of Dunkirk, where Heinz Guderian did not listen and actually uh, just went in after a while. And they all hated that Hitler did that stand down. You, you need to check your information. You suck. ...front that stretched from Stetten in the north to the Czech border in the south. The eyes of the world were now converging on Berlin as Stalin's armies prepared for their final act of vengeance that would eradicate Nazi Germany once and for all. 
Although the Allies had promised to leave Berlin to the Red Army, the ever-paranoid Stalin still urged haste in the capture of the city. The final plan called for a three-pronged attack on the Berlin Axis to encircle- Must have been so weird for American soldiers meeting Russian soldiers. But one thing is clear about war. Soldiers are just normal fucking dudes. They're not like their leaders, man. They're just normal people that want to survive. And I would think they got along very well and shook hands and just shared some stuff and- we're not very hostile to each other. I wouldn't think that. ...and capture the city within 12 to 15 days, kind of would have then move on to meet the Allies at the Elba River. Zhukov's first Belarusian front would be at the center of the thrust, while Marshal Ivan Konev's first Ukrainian front to the south was set to attack across the Niza well, River in, in the direction of Potsdam and Dresden. Finally, Marshal Konstantin Rokossovsky's second Belarusian front would tie down German forces to the north in the Stettin Schwedt sector Stettin to prevent sector. them from reinforcing Berlin. Having become accustomed to fighting on wide open terrain. Does he have a fucking MG42 in the, in the corner? <laughs> and a Luger. Why do you have only Nazi weapons behind you, bro? <laughs> At least you have Zukov here. Few in the red. But actually, maybe is that, is, oh, that's probably the Russian MG. I'm just a retard. He has Russian stuff here and German stuff here. I'm just a Muppet. Army had much experience in large-scale urban street fighting. Looks like MG42 though. It was up to General Vasily Choykov's 8th... Which even I was still shooting. I was shooting the MG34, which was a, a little sister MG of uh, MG42, which is still kind of used nowadays. Guards Army. In a different form. Veterans of the Battle of Stalingrad to distribute pamphlets on urban warfare, while special combined arms task forces were formed. Red Army engineers, on their part, worked day and night to construct hundreds of bridges and thousands of wooden assault boats to cross the Oder and Niza rivers. To achieve this, Soviet planners had to find a way to move 29 armies over hundreds of kilometers to create shock groups MG3, capable I mean, of MG3. penetrating the German... Yeah, I know. You guys are all machine gun experts. I'm sorry that I said the wrong name. NG3, obviously. I'm sorry. When it was all said and done, no, the Red was... Army would advance on Berlin with some 2.5 million men, 6,250 tanks and self-propelled guns, and 7,500 combat aircraft. That's a lot to Aiming to, to make the invaders a bleed for every inch of German soil, the Wehrmacht constructed a series of well-entrenched defensive lines which barricaded the way into Berlin. God, why are you still these fighting positions right? so were the remains of Army stupid. Group Fistula and Dumb 4th as Nazi Panzer Party, Army, man. as well as the Berlin... As I always say, in my opinion, Hitler and the Nazi Party were the most un-German thing of all times, man. The way they hurt Germany, they were so pro-German, but they were the worst thing that Germany... <laughs> Had to ever go for men. Garrison. Combined, this force people. consisted of 750,000 German baby, soldiers, maybe, supported so. by 1,519 tanks Shut and up, assault ghost. guns, 9,303 guns Mine and mortars, and 2,200 aircraft. However, Not these numbers <laughs> looked more impressive gun. on paper than Fuck. they did in reality, as virtually all of its formations were under strength. Although many units were led by battle-hardened veterans of the Eastern Front, their rank and file Dude, was often made up of a mix men. of wounded, unfit, and inexperienced soldiers, and even boys from the Hitler Youth. Moreover, some 60,000 so of the defenders came from undertrained and barely armed Volkssturm militia battalions. The infantry would not be able to count much on its armored and air assets either, as the Germans lacked the fuel reserves to keep its otherwise considerable force of fighting vehicles operational for any extended period of time. Morale was also at an all-time low. Most suffered from malnutrition and a lack of hygiene, and save for the most fanatical Nazis, few now believed in the promise of final victory. Even so, every effort was made to convince the men that the much-anticipated Wunderwaffen would still turn the tide of the war, uh, so much and propaganda. that peace talks... If you ever watch my, my letter video, man, where I read the letter from my, my, my great-grandpa, right, he, he was always writing in, in a way that he was always really believing in the victory. The Russians were already pushing to Poland, man, and he would always write, soon it's over, we're gonna win soon, soon everything's gonna change. It's crazy, man, like real, uh, literally written, right, in my hands, and he fucking was writing that. It's fucking crazy how how propaganda rise, how manipulated these people were. It's very, very sad. And once again, the parallel to Russia now is how many Russians are totally manipulated by the regime of Vladimir Putin over the last 20 years, right? It's a very, very sad thing, dude. I, I read today that now uh, only one quarter of the Russian public still supports the war in Ukraine, 
But I don't like news like this because if they would win the Ukraine war, they would all be foreign, man. You know, that's just human beings, man. They they do whatever is best for them. What he wrote might have been because he could have been penalized if someone found out he doesn't believe in victory. Ah, oh, true, true, true. So with the Western allies, we're soon to bear fruit. But if these motivations were only marginally effective, the widespread fear of Soviet vengeance and barbarism drove even the most cynical to continue fighting. On April 12th, the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra gave its last performance. Among the music played was Richard Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. What a night that must have been, dude. Four days later, another type of orchestra began to play <laughs> as thousands of Katyusha rocket launchers <laughs> and field guns of Zhukov's <laughs> front opened up on the first German defensive Jesus line Christ. along the Zelo Heights. It's like a movie. Miles away in Berlin's eastern suburbs, houses began to shake as terrified citizens gathered in the street to listen to the start of the coming storm. A stunned Russian engineer described the unfolding spectacle. It's always crazy to me how Berlin was fully fucking annihilated and then uh, years, like just uh, 80 years later, man. I mean, even less, right? Berlin becomes a prospering big city, man. Very crazy how quickly they rebuilt all of that shit. That always impressed a lot of uh, me a lot. Pickle. Along the whole length of the horizon, dude. it was Thank bright as daylight. On the German side, everything was covered with smoke and thick foundations of earth in clumps flying up. There were huge flocks of scared birds flying them. around in the sky, a said. constant humming, thunder, explosions. We had to cover our ears to prevent our eardrums breaking. As the sound Must of artillery insane, gradually dude. faded, hundreds of men began shouting, to Berlin, as tank engines roared and the lead assault elements began advancing that toward the heights. That must have been such a weird experience, man. Many of the German Thank defenders, the unfortunate Thank enough to have been caught in the preceding onslaught, had disappeared in the blink of an eye, while dazed and panic-stricken survivors rushed back toward the second defensive line. However, the awesome bombardment obscured serious problems in Zhukov's plan. The destruction caused by the shelling had been so great in scope that it had severely worsened the condition of the terrain that his men now had to traverse. <laughs> that is so Russian, dude. <laughs> the searchlights, intended to blind the enemy, instead reflected onto the smoke-filled air and obscured the vision of the advancing infantry. That In the resulting so Russian, chaos, bro. units <laughs> lost contact with each other as Soviet artillery and aircraft began attacking friendly formations. Dude, you're literally about to win the war, man. You want to go home to Babushka and then your own fucking people shoot Worse you, man. still, German intelligence had had prior knowledge of the coming offensive, which meant that many of the first-line troops had been evacuated to the safety of the rear. What ensued was nothing less than what a member of the Gross Deutschland Guard Regiment described as a slaughterhouse. Countless soldiers were cut down as they struggled to advance across the floodplains and through German minefields. In other sectors, yeah, the Germans still got mad fucking kills. Too, the attackers were cut down and repulsed as they attempted to cross the Oder. I want to think at this point, Stalin did not give a fuck anymore about human resources, man. Just run in there, whoever dies, dies, man. Let's just win this Fencing shit. disaster, an increasingly agitated Zhukov ordered his two tank armies to yeah, attack so at God. once. However, most of the infantry's artillery and supply vehicles were still trying to make their way to the front, causing the tank armies to become hopelessly stuck in an endless- Oh, a stuck convoy, man. That's not ever gonna happen again, am I right, Vladimir? Traffic jam. Come on, guys, you didn't learn from that? <clears throat> Even when the lead armor finally approached the heights, they found themselves ambushed by concealed 88 gun emplacements, Tiger I tanks, and infantry Jeez. armed with deadly pan- uh, every, Look, I'm not an expert. I know you guys are experts, but every time I react to Germany versus Russia content of World War II, the Germans look, objectively speaking, so successful, man. They encircle so much, they take so much land, they are so tactical, and still they just get wrecked, man, dude. <clears throat> which must really be with the production and the, the mass of soldiers Russia was mobilizing, I would think. Panzer Faust every time I listen to this stuff, it, 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 plus anti -tank Germans launch. weren't like idiots or something. It was just too fucking much. Unsurprisingly, Zhukov's decimated assault, men Dockers. had made little progress at the end of the first day. And it would take three more days and countless more dead before his... In the end, Hitler just wrote one versus nine and left the game. Armies route. finally forced their way through That's the final though, defensive line. Naturally, Stalin was infuriated, but he could rest easy in the fact that Konev's front to the south had seen more success. By the end of April the 18th, his tank armies were across Rich the Spree yeah, yeah. River and were racing toward Berlin, 
Lacking sufficient reinforcements and ammunition, the we're surviving so defenders so in both sectors <laughs> were forced into a headlong retreat. With the German defensive lines in the south and in the center broken, and with vital troops in the north still tied down <laughs> fighting, the Tomorrow road to Berlin lay leaving. open. Lacking the supplies to keep on fighting, German morale now visibly began to collapse. Thousands of encircled men surrendered, while masses of stragglers, deserters, and refugees made their way into the doomed city. All the while, an increasingly delusional Hitler continued to demand fanatical resistance until the bitter end. Again, the movie Downfall is very good about that. If you haven't seen it, you need to really watch that, man. How this one man, is just millions died because of his stupid fucking bullshit, man. And every time, if, if you wouldn't you wouldn't do what he wanted, man, you were a traitor to the German people and stuff. On April Sorry. 20th, the Fuhrer's birthday was rudely interrupted by Soviet artillery shelling Berlin's northeastern suburbs. As Adios, its citizens boy. fled into cellars, Zhukov and Konev's tank armies began a frantic race to the city's outskirts. In the meantime, many senior officials of the Nazi party engaged in a similar type of competition to be the first one to get permission to flee the city. Soldiers on the ground enjoyed no such privileges. And those who tried to run or displayed signs Fucking of cowardice were summarily- What an atrocity German people. That's why I say Hitler is the worst thing that ever happened to Germans. If you truly love Germany and you feel like- a, That's why I don't get right-wingers and nowadays Nazis and nowadays times. What do you love about the Nazis and Hitler? They're the worst thing that ever happened to your country. You love your country? You're a proud German, a patriot? Fucking use your head for two seconds to realize this is the worst thing that ever happened to us, man. Hanged There's throughout the city head. with messages such as I was a coward or Ridiculous, I was man. a deserter People dangling still believe from their nowadays, chests. Man. Unbelievable. The next morning, Soviet Inbred artillery people, fired a frenzied barrage into Berlin's city center. While the remains of General Helmut Weidling's 56th Panzer Corps of the German 9th Army conducted a desperate withdrawal across Berlin's Autobahn range while being mercilessly strafed by Soviet aircraft. Get Other wrecked. remnants of the German defense attempted in vain to stop Zhukov's armies from pushing into the city from the southwestern and northern flanks. However, its depleted units could only delay the enemy, and Zhukov and Konev's forces both reached the city's outskirts that evening. Starvation is a much better option. What? What are you... I thought oh, that is... Believing himself to be the next Frederick the Great, Hitler remained confident that a massive counterstroke by the newly created Army Detachment Steiner and 9th Army <laughs> against is, Zhukov's flanks is, would trap the so invaders in right. a city in a ploy similar to what had befallen the Germans at Stalingrad two years prior. When it became clear on the following day that Steiner's army detachment lacked sufficient strength and ammunition to attack, the Fuhrer finally cracked and openly admitted for the first time that all was hopelessly lost. With no the shit, Soviets Charlotte. breaking into the city, General Weidling was appointed commander of the Berlin defense area. However, by the time Weidling took command, only about 45,000 Wehrmacht and SS troops, just over 40,000 men of the Volkssturm, and a measly 60... Still so much to 100,000 soldiers still in the city, man. That, that seems like a lot, man. ...fuel-starved tanks were left standing to defend the city against some 1.5 million Soviet Jesus, troops. Jesus, man. Your With inevitable defeat looming on the horizon, many of the defenders began to lay down their arms. Others, however, continued to resist fanatically. Imagine intentionally starting a two-front war. At the Tempelhof airport, a mixed group of SS-led German defenders, they, they, including they some too, 100 Hitler youth, wreaked havoc on the attacking Soviet tanks and infantry, Young who had to resort to massive shit, aerial dude. and artillery bombardment to finally capture the airport a day later. By that time, the encirclement of Berlin had been completed. However, a manic Hitler promised Weidling that What's yet up, another massive counteroffensive by General Wenck's 12th Army in the southwest was sure to come to the rescue of Thank the beleaguered cool. defenders. Wenck, however, had no intention on embarking in a... Potsdam is a very beautiful city. If you ever come to Germany, man, you know, Berlin is nowadays a fucking rotten city full of hipsters and drug-addicted people and shit, right? And all the rich people in Berlin, they're clever, right? They're like, I don't want to live in this shit anymore, so they all move to Potsdam. And when you go to Potsdam, you're going to feel that, man. It's so rich there, man. The fucking beautiful city, man. Big money, man. That's what I learned, man. They all live fucking here. Thank you, Dark. A futile suicide mission. Thank you, Dark. And instead moved to relieve encircled German troops further to the east. With no further hope of relief, Weidling urged the Führer to stage a breakout westward to join up with remnants of Army Group Vistula. Hitler, however, rejected the plan and restated his intention to fall at the head of his troops. 
During the next three days, the Red Army tightened its hold on Berlin as the advancing armies closed in on the inner defensive line, protecting the governmental district. The lack of clear demarcation lines between the fronts, however, led to various formations competing for space and getting hopelessly confused in the ensuing quagmire. After careful about the Greek front, Tommy? it was decided that most of Konov's frustrated men were to be redeployed to Czechoslovakia, while Zhukov was to go in for the final kill. By the end of the 29th, the 8th Guards Army had but blasted... I, I, I'm a guy, you guys know me, I say this often. I often... Imagine there was a video game where your brain goes into simulation and goes through the experiences of other human beings, like in Assassin's Creed. I always wonder what certain experiences feel like, and imagine being in this, being a German soldier in this, or being a Russian soldier in this. The feelings you must feel, the stuff you go through, man, unfucking imaginable dude. ...did its way through the heavily defended Tiergarten sector, while the 3rd Shock Army Tiergarten. passed the spray over the Moltke Bridge just to the north. Aye, 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 aye. In front of them... I remember when I was a kid, we went to Berlin, and you could still see the bullet holes. Then, uh, 2000-something, they, they re renovated it. They, they made all the bullet holes go away. ...the ultimate prize, the blackened walls of the Reichstag, the former parliamentary building widely one, regarded as the symbolic heart... Bensi, 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 the first one to receive a Tommy K personal Christmas card. Of the Third Reich. Thank Capturing you so much, Capturing it would be boy. nothing thank less you. than the culmination of the entire Soviet war effort. Card. The defense of the building and its surroundings was led by a determined group so of mostly death, foreign SS fighters with little less to lose. In the morning of Jesus. the following day, Soviet artillery opened fire as a few hundred assault troops rushed forward. This After a heavy game. firefight, the men reached the main entrance and proceeded to clear the building in brutal close quarters. And that is realistic. In the Call of Duty games, it was so different, right? There was like buildings here and stuff. But in real life, there's uh, just a big field in front of the Reichstag. combat. After hours of bitter fighting... It's also very weird as a German when you go to Berlin to the Reichstag to, to look at the Reichstag and look at the field in front of it and imagine how much fucking death happened here, man. The red Thank banner was broken, spotted man. hanging from the second floor at around 2.30 p.m. But yeah, it on the second floor, not the top. That was uh, romanticized. It would be until late in the evening before a path to the roof okay. had finally been cleared. Two sergeants, Yours identified as Mikhail Yegorov and Melaton Kantaria, and did, managed did the to thing, reach yeah. the top and hoisted oh, the, the hammer and sickle on top of the Reichstag, marking the symbolic end of Hitler's Third Reich. As this historic moment unfolded, an even more momentous event occurred barely a kilometer away. With Soviet troops converging on his bunker complex, the embittered Fuhrer knew that he had reached the end of the line. The German people had failed him and his vision. Yeah, he would always say the Germans failed me, and he said, uh, uh, thank you, Vader, my brother. Uh, if we lose this war, then the German people deserve to get eradicated, man. Let's, Jesus fucking Christ. Of a thousand-year Reich. After giving Weidling the go-ahead to attempt a belated breakout, the Fuhrer said his farewells to his remaining staff, poisoned his dog Blondie, and retired make, to uh, his study room to VIPs. commit suicide together with his newly wedded bride, Ava Brown. But Hitler's out. death did not put an immediate end to the fighting. The new chancellor, Josef Goebbels, rejected Stalin's demand for an unconditional surrender. A of great movie, a, a fucking insane movie, one of my favorite movies ever is uh, He Is Back. I genuinely believe you should all watch it. It's uh, Germany doesn't make good movies, but that movie isn't sick. Uh, it's uh, Hitler. Hitler shoots himself and gets teleported into the year 2018, into our times, right? And he wakes up in Berlin in nowadays times and he reacts to how the new world is and everything and uh, thinks about it and th what the movie th the movie is genius the movie is one of the most intelligent movies i've ever seen because in the beginning you think it's a comedy it's like ha 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 hitler's back ha 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 he's so stupid ha 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 all the trucks in berlin ha 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 but step by step then the movie changes hitler is starting to take over again people are believing in him he's like making a speech and stuff and everybody's like at the beginning ha 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 hitler's in tv and then hitler makes a speech and then they're like well, he's kind of right, guys, right? And he slowly becomes powerful again, man. And then in the end of the movie, they have a real-life uh, scene, which is not staged. They they take Hitler's old car, uh, the Hitler actor, and uh, he have a brown actor, actresses, and they drive around Berlin, and he's uh, saluting to everyone, and they all salute back to him and stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, super good, I It's a very, 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 very... He favors the Green Party. <laughs> It's a fucking crazy, crazy good movie, man. You guys have to watch that, man. The remaining crazy German movie. positions until the defense was reduced to little more than a few isolated pockets. With Goebbels' subsequent suicide being announced that night, the door to peace in Berlin could finally be opened.
At 6 a.m. on May 2nd, General Weidling officially ordered his remaining men to lay down their arms. When the guns finally fell silent in the afternoon, so an eerie death. silence oh. descended on the city, of which Choykov would later write, the flame of world war was quenched there, whence it arose. Isn't that, isn't that crazy how the world... Is, what, what a sentence. Wow. What a fucking sentence, dude. The capture of Germany's capital had cost the Red Army an estimated 78,000 men killed in action Fucking and hell. over 274,000. <laughs> in return, the Germans had lost some 90 to 100,000 men killed in action, as well as at least another 200,000 wounded. During their advance into Germany, the Come vengeful on. Red Army had left a trail of pillage and destruction in its wake. An hey, estimated 95,000 to 130,000 women in Berlin alone are said to have been sexually assaulted, of which 10,000 would later commit suicide. What, 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 Germany, wait, what? The Germans had lost some 90 to 100,000 men killed in action, as well what? as at least 30,000 rapes, what is this, Hollywood? 200,000 wounded. During their advance into Germany, the vengeful Red Army had left a trail of pillage and destruction in its wake. An estimated 95,000 to 130,000 women in Berlin alone are said to have been I thought he said 30,000 sexually assaulted Jeez, man. of which 10,000 would later commit suicide. Fucking hell. Still many Germans were relieved that the conflict was finally over and that a semblance of normal human life was slowly returning under shared allied Soviet occupation. However, the alliance between the two victors would prove short-lived. And the start of the cold. You yeah, didn't, didn't. Who was it? Eisenhower or something? He said we 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 fought the wrong enemy or some shit. War would usher we should have gone to Moscow. Crisis in the city, which had suffered so much during the Second World War. What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez. Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.